Okay, the net of a cube is drawn on the piece of card shown below. All right, and it asks us, this question asks us, what is the volume of the cube? Now, this is, a, a net is something where, if you imagine cutting this out, imagine this is a whole piece of card, we're cutting it out, we could fold it up to, um, to make a cube, a three-dimensional cube shape. Okay, so I'm going to very badly draw a cube here. Okay, that's, this is a badly drawn cube. All right, you can see this is a three-dimensional cube shape. So this, if we cut it out and folded it up, and we could make a little box, a square box shape. All right. So what do we know? We know that this all together is six centimeters. We also, we've been told that it's a, a cube, all right? That means that each of these is a square. So this is the same length as this, is the same as this, the same as this, the same as this. Do you see where I'm going? If this is six centimeters, okay, then each of these, there's one, two, three, okay? These each have to be two, all right? Six divided by three equals two. So this has to be two, this has to be two, and this has to be two. Do you agree? Two plus two plus two, that's six. All right, so we know what each of the edges are. So let's see if I can draw it a little bit better here. Probably not knowing me. All right, so that's a face of my cube. Okay. All right, so this is my cube. It, it, this, this should be, this is square. This should be square. I know it looks a bit rectangular because I am just terrible at drawing. Okay, so this is the cube that I have made. Now, there's two things to think about. We've got, now, you might be thinking there's area is the flat space in a 2D shape. 2D, a 2D shape has two dimensions. That's one dimension, two dimensions, okay? It's a flat shape, and the area is how much space um, there is in it. Imagine, you know, think about your garden, okay, how much flat space have you got out there? That's the flat space in your garden, all right? We also, now that we're talking about it, we can think of, a, if we've got a garden, we might think of a perimeter, that's the, the line, the boundary of that flat space, that's the perimeter, okay? Now here, we're talking about volume. Now this is where we haven't got a 2D shape, we've got a 3D shape like this one, all right? And we want to know how much three-dimensional space there is inside the whole shape, okay? How much three-dimensional space is inside this whole shape? Now, if I want to calculate the area, all right? Imagine this is a length of, that's two, isn't it? And that's two, I'm using these squares as my units of measurement, two by two. What I'm asking is how many unit squares there are inside my shape, okay? This is a little unit square that's one by one, that's one unit square, okay? How many of these unit squares are there? Well, if there's um, two rows and two columns, there's one, two, three, four all together. And we can calculate that easily by just multiplying one side by the other. Two times two gives us four. So that would be four, and I'm going to imagine they're centimeters, all right? Just, so we're gonna say that's four centimeters, and then squared, all right? That's, going to, that's telling us that we're talking about these squares. Now, with volume, as I said, it's the space that's inside this three-dimensional shape, right? We've got 
two here and we've got two here. All right, now imagine that's going to tell us how many squares there were. See, I might change my pen color here. Okay, that's going to tell us um, how many squares there were. There, now let's see if this helps at all. Okay. So one, two, three, four. But this is a 3D shape. We're actually looking for how many cube squares there are. All right, how many cubes there are. Little unit cubes. OK, so can you imagine that's one cube there, two cubes, three cubes, four cubes. OK, and then we've got um, another set of those behind there, another four behind there. So we've got two by two gives us four times another two. OK, two times two is four times two is eight. OK, so can you see that one, two, three, four? And there's going to be another set behind five, six, seven, eight. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So our answer is going to be eight centimeters cubed okay that's that cubed symbol okay i hope that helped